So we're in section number two. Let's continue with phase diagrams. And probably you're asking yourself, what's that? It's essentially a diagram of a substance in which we're going to plot any variable or state function versus another one. The common plots are, for example, pressure versus temperature. We got pressure here, temperature here, <clears throat> which is the one we're going to see right now. Pressure versus volume. Temperature versus volume also. And these two are of a special interest, but this one, especially for the second law of thermodynamics, and this one for the first law of thermodynamics, which is enthalpy and entropy. We're going to make a small overview, but we're going to revisit these topics in, of course, the second law and the first law. Good. <clears throat> About pressure temperature diagrams, we're going to plot pressure versus the temperature. It will help us to visualize easily the phases, solid, liquid, vapor, and gas. And why do I separate vapor and gas? We're going to see that later. It's very easy to identify the triple point, and we're going to make a, maybe on a slide later, but it's essentially where the three phases meet. And you probably don't know that we could have ice, water and vapor in one single point. Then we're going to be marking the lines of saturation lines, which are the equilibrium lines between phases. So stop theory, let's see some practice. This is the diagram of water. You can see here and here and here. Le if you remember the example we saw, I think one or two videos uh, before, we were talking about heating at a constant pressure. So for example, you started from zero absolute, which let's say this is zero absolute, <coughs> zero Kelvin or minus 273 Celsius. Then this area here is ice. Then you get to this saturation line, which is the line between solid and water. You keep this as water and then you make water saturated because it's once again in the same point and then starts even a mixture the only uh, bad thing about this is that you cannot see the mixture of water and vapor we're going to use other diagrams which will make pretty obvious this area in which you have water and vapor as a mixture and then you have all this which is the vapor area until the critical point then we have here a gas. Perfect. What else do we have? We have the, once again, the equilibrium line between ice and water, solid and liquid. It's almost a straight line that's pretty interesting, especially when getting data. We will be able later to extrapolate data because it's a straight line. Then we get the water vapor equilibrium. As you can see, uh, this is not linear. Uh, uh, function, but you could use it in ranges. For example, if I tell you water from 0 to 100 Celsius might be taken, or the line of equilibrium might be taken constant, and from 100 to 374 may be also considered a constant. And of course, the more you break the ranges, the more perfect fit you will have. And once again, no fit, but if you make two lines in this solid line, you will have this right here. Uh, yeah, essentially let me explain you what's the triple point in the next video. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. 
My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.